Hope you're doing well. Uh, share a knife with you. Um, knife in front of you is 13 and a half inches overall. It's got uh, from handle to tip, um, tip front of the handle to tip is uh, um, nine and a, right at a quarter. Um, cutting edge is eight inches. All right, uh, this uh, 13 and a half inch knife weighs three ounces. All right, this is 90 thousandths stock 01, heat treated by Peter's Heat Treat, uh, about 61 HRC. Got a very lean grind on it. Uh, the way I ground it, there's no plunges. It's ground all the way back. It's about an inch wide. All right, but it's very lean. Um, primary edge where um, I've sharpened it between the shoulder and where uh, the primary meets averages uh, a little less than five thousandths. The, uh, the tip, maybe an uh, inch of the tip is about ten thousandths. I thicken that up just for extra uh, strength of tip. Um, this knife was made as a uh, dedicated um, uh, light slicer. It's not made for heavy work. The handle, three-piece construction, um, leopard wood that I stabilized, and then it's got a um, piece of G10 that uh, encloses the tang. The tang comes out to about here, one pin in the tang, and then I have two 1 16th inch brass pins just for a little extra mechanical um, security. Get the idea of the end grain there, which I think is really neat how it's got the spots, but then you can see the, the grain of the wood. Um, balance is right here where my finger is. Um, did that so that when you're using this slicer and a pinch grip, it's neutral balance right here. The little slim handle just, you know, fits nice and um, gently into the palm of your hand where you can do your finesse slicing. Knife will be for sale. Um, right now, I uh, don't have anything up on Gear Bastion. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this on Gear Bastion or uh, I'm thinking about actually um, getting a, a website as I'm uh, um, diving deeper into uh, knife making. But uh, knife came out really good. Um, really like the little design. Again, as a light. Um, dedicated slicer. I think that uh, will work. So, tell me what you think.